Hello, my name is Light and this is a shading tutorial Fur and Fluffy, few days ago someone asked me about uh, this fur shading uh, It is quite simple but it needs a little bit of path <laughs> and it starts uh, the result will look like this one of the style one of the it can you can have other controls to the texture also uh, to the fur shading also where yeah, you control the texture to do it it relies heavily on pixel math first it use uh, you need a uh, shading information which is uh, shaded by the light then you add a you remove the bright part with a texture then you remove the textured part on the bright part uh, with uh, another shading which is uh, a smaller spot of a uh, uh, of a shading on it then you recolor it then you get fur to do that we actually use this not setup this is the shading part this is the texture part you minus it after that you add back you remove the the texture in the bright part with uh, by adding it adding a bright spot back after that you remap it and recolor it this not do two things first it remaps the shading second it uh, recolor it uh, uh, let's see how it progress from the beginning first it looks like this just black and white it, uh, just using this texture uh, this uh, material uh, black and white using result here next uh, the texture is here then I get this kind of uh, shading uh, the actually the, the, the direction of the texture is uh, is two things one is the UV here the direction of UV and the direction of te the texture here after you get that so the shading minus the texture you will get this kind of uh, effects then you remove add back some bright spot here you remove the texture on the bright spot you get something like this then you remap it and give it a color and turn like this the important thing here is actually the sequence of uh, uh, the pixel math operation here the sec uh, the second most important thing in this setup is the direction of the texture first is you you, you have uv you put a remapping here remapping node uh, to change this texture's direction so that it match this UV uh, initially it looks like this it's very big and it is actually a marble texture the texture is a marble texture so you can see the effects is like this you can also use soft but soft is too soft it just turn blobby you can use a uh, hard texture and resize this In, if you have the size of one the texture is very big uh, that's why i scale it down a bit and here i repeat the texture 10 times on x 10 times on y you get this but this is the direction of the texture and UV is uh, on not the, the correct direction so I have to add I have to rotate it a bit and get something like this and then I want to stretch the texture a bit I get something like this and there's other options here also for other control if I change this Z value to roughly 0.2 I can get curly fur right here and if I want it 
to have very long stretch fur I put it in Z into 5 I get very stretch fur like this and if you have a teddy bear or anything you can use this kind of shading uh, the important thing is the sequence of operation and what kind of math you use to do the sequence uh, right here is shading uh, remove the remove the bright part with a texture then you put another bright spot on the in the middle remap it and recolor it uh, just like this shading minus the texture then you re you put a remove the texture in the bright spot then recolor and you get fur you can actually do a lot of other effects with this you can do rough surfaces and uh, other other methods you can use other texture to for for this and it all relies heavily on pixel math which leads me to this book uh, this book uh, uh, is uh, all talking about pixel math for the, like the example that I showed just now uh, there are few examples on the cover of the book but without the explanation yeah, it is uh, harder to understand the main part of this book is actually the sequential learning because you need to build up from one uh, pixel math to another so you don't just guess what kind of blend modes you don't just guess uh, you feel it right it's correct and but it's not really like that you what you actually learn from here uh, will apply in a lot of places in blender uh, you will learn to appreciate not just feeling for the not set up or your uh, your blending blend modes you actually can understand what kind of number is happening behind the scenes and and this book proved to be very uh, uh, resourceful and I hope you get this book it's very cheap it's just 10 US dollar and you can you get to do fun stuff like shading like this uh, fluffy fur and this and that's it